بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتور عادل نهير عبد كلية الهندسة قسم الهندسة المدنية محاضرتنا لمرحلة الرابع قسم الهندسة المدنية المحاضرة هي من ضمن متطلبات الكورس الأول للمرحلة الرابعة ترافيك انجينيرينج محاضرتنا لهذا اليوم بعنوان ترافيك فلو فاندمنتالز الاوبجيكتيفز اوف ذيس لكتشر از تو اندرستاند ذا فاندمنتال ريليشن شيبس امون ترافيك باراميترز اي لفهم العلاقات الاساسيه ل الترافيك فلو اي للسيل المروري ثم الاوبجيكتيف الثاني هاو تو استيميت اور استيميتنج ترافيك باراميتر يوزنج ذا فاندمنتال ريليشن شيبس اي كيف نستطيع حساب البارامترز للترافيك فلو اعتمادا على الريليشن شيبس الفاندمنتال ريليشن شيبس في بدايه المحاضره سؤال What are the fundamental parameters of traffic flow? في الحقيقة في المحاضرات السابقة أخذنا هذه the fundamental parameters without relations. يعني we we study what is this parameters only, which are speed. Brahmins you. أي السرعة وكما عرفنا في المحاضرات السابقة أن هنالك أنواع من السبيد يعني we have spot speed time mean speed و space mean speed وعرفنا السبيد which means rate of motions rate of motion measured by Kilometer per hour. A. This means this is the distance over time. The distance which crossed by any vehicle during an interval of times. Okay. This is the as we take before. This is the speed. Another is the density. K, which means rate of traffic. Of our, of our distance, right? Of our traffic, of our distance. مقاسب ال vehicle per kilometer or per meters. يعني it means the length of vehicles over the distance, cross section distance, which means number of vehicles. Occupy a distance which is kilometer during interval of time. This is the density. Now, volume, volumes, which means amount of traffic bear time. Density bear distance, as we see. Density bear distance. Why? Volume bear Time. This is means vehicle bear hours. It is a volume. This is there is a relation with another parameters which means we can't take it. It flow. It is the Q. Is the rate of traffic equivalent hourly rate? Fifteen minutes observations. This. We take the time for 15 minutes. Then we 15 minutes means one over four from the hours. When we timing it by four, this is mean the flow per hours as the rate of traffic. Rate of traffic. 
while the volume, as we take before, the amount of traffic bear times. This is bear times, but we take according to the 15 minutes, okay, as we take before. Now, what is the relation between these parameters? The relations, there is a basic relations between these. What is this? We have low volumes mean highest speeds. Low volume, if, if there is a low volume, there is a highest speed. Where there is not vehicles at the section, the vehicle can speed with highest speed, can drive with highest speed. This is mean high volumes, where is the high volumes, where there are more traffic flow, more vehicles, there is low speeds. There is low speeds. When there is a maximum density, there is no speed of flow. Why? Because the vehicles become one after others. This is mean we, we reach the maximum density or the maximum capacity of the roads. So there is no speed of flow. The flow will be stopped. This means that there is a density. There is a there is a congestion. Okay? So this is some relations show us what is the 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 relation between density, volume and low volumes. This is according to this formula Q equal K time u a this traffic flow or the volume equal density by u the speed this is the fundamental relationships okay so q equal k q we can find that q equal 1 over h where h mean the time headway. What's the meaning of the time headway? The time headway is the time between two successive vehicles. The time between two successive vehicles. When we observe this time between a car, the first car and the second car at a cross section or at a point, this means it is the time headway between two vehicles. We have another mean, which is space headway, where k, this is mean k over 1 over s. This, where s, what's the meaning of, what is this? S equal space headway. So we have time headway and space headway. What is the difference? The difference between time headway and the space headway, as we said, time headway is a time between two successive vehicles, while space headway is the distance between two successive vehicles. Yes? Okay? So, we can find flow density example. If the space headway between vehicles is 25 meter, find the density. If the space headway equal 25 find the density where k equal 1 over s 1 in kilometer which is the section while s 
is the space headway in meter. So we can find k1 bar, which is 1000 over 25. So equal 40. This 40 means they have vehicle bare kilometers. Vehicle, this is the density equal 40 vehicle bare kilometer. If the time headway between vehicles equal 3.6 second, find the volume. We can find the volume according to this formula Q equal 1 over H, which means 1 hours mean 3 6 or, or second divided by 3.6 second so the volume equal 1000 vehicle per hour this is the volume so we can find from headway or space headway or space headway we can find the density at this section or we can find the volume of the traffic at this section okay approximately the, the the relation is approximately linear according to green shell model as density decrease as we said before the speed of vehicle decrease so from this figure we can find, we can see the, if there, there is a relation between density and the speed, okay, now this is a point where there is no V curve. We have UF. What is the meaning of UF? As we take it before, UF is the free flow speed. Is the free flow speed. This means there is no for no vehicles at the section so the car or the vehicles can speed with the free speeds which is uf okay so this is mean maximum speeds uf free or free flow speed at zero density okay at zero density what is the meaning of zero density there is no vehicle at the section now this is Kj, which is which means maximum density or Kj, Kj or Kj. So this is the density. Now, what is the relation between? This is the maximum density at the maximum density. There is no speeds. Why? Because all the successive vehicle one after others. This is a congestion or jam. Where, so the K is Kj at the jump density, which means maximum density. At the maximum density, it is zero speed. Yes, you see this. So when we have observation at this, this relation between speed and density will, which will be linear. Linear. We will show, show uh, observe it after that. This we shall observe the flow or observe the speed and density at any section and so what is the relations we can find this relation according to the observation of speeds and density we have speed and density and by least square estimation we can we can find this line this equation or this model of this line this is according to the green shell model according uh, green shell model which means a density increase when the speed of vehicles decrease okay this mean this is the relation of this formula we which means u equal uf minus or uf multiplied by 1 minus k over kj this means if i do 
for this, this means that is u equal u f minus k u f over k j over k j. This is a linear linear relations. This is a linear relations. This is observed flow at the speed. We can see this up from this observations the the this observation between speeds this is in kilometer or bit or mile 0 10 20 30 40 and so on and this is the density okay this is the density we can see that this relation will be if i take a relation seem like linear seem like linear okay this is seem like linear this we can from this observation by regression analysis or by least square estimation we can find this relation u equal u f minus u f minus u f k over k j okay you understand this please now this is the density this is the flow this is the relation as as we said it, yeah u equal u f one minus k over k j and k is equal q this from this as i said before q equal this u f k minus u f k j over k2 we uh, substitute the relation q is equal k over u to find this relation k for u u this u f minus k j u f over k j so the relation will become q equal u f k minus u f k square over k j this is k j this is k this is the q at capacity this is the q at capacity this is the q this is the optimum density this is the optimum density this is another relation between a flow and density now before we we take the relation between the according this all these according to green shell model before we see that this is the the relation is linear between density and the speed now the relation between flow and density like this this flow and density this relation we can so that the flow in vehicle per hour and this is the density now the relation is a parabola slope of these lines as you see is the space mean speed at this density at this density this is the speed slope of these lines we see these lines mean the speed which mean the slope which mean k m k over flow over flow density over flow the density flow over density flow over density mean this slope of the line at any point in the section this slope mean the space mean speed a eh? the space mean speed at this point or at this density at this point or this density so another relationships between a flow and speed now this is the relationships between flow and speed what is the relationships between the speed and the flow if we observe the speed of a car at a section or a vehicle at a section and i find that the flow for this section so we can find from this relation u equal u f one minus k of our kj and q equal k u this is mean i now substitute 
the relation of uf i can from this substituting i can find q equal what q kj u minus kj over u f u square see please this relation i i return to the other relation as before this relations so this relation is q equal this is the relation between flow and density q equal u f k minus u f k j k square see this please this relation and now we return to our the relation between speed and the flow this is u this is u u f is this, uh, this is the relation between u and flow which means q which is the flow equal kj u kj is the jump density or maximum density for u is the speed kj over uf uf mean the free flow speed if u u square okay you see this this is mean See, this is the capacity. This is Q capacity. A capacity is this mean the maximum flow. The capacity is the maximum flow for a section at which can the road occupy it. So, this is the optimal speed for flow maximization and yani at the flow maximization now q capacity equal k capacity for u capacity this is from the fundamental relation q equal k for u at this point at q capacity we can see that q capacity equal k capacity for u capacity okay now this is observed field observation this is a field observation for average speeds and the flow this is see this like a parabola like a parabola this is the relation between speed and the flow this is the relation between speed and flow from this this is uh, this is we take this figure from highway capacity manual from the highway capacity manual to see the relation between average travel speed and the volume we see that the vol this from this section where is the where is the volume is zero the speed at, at the free flow speeds and we have we see more than one more than caves this is this is the paint upon this is the paint of the design speed of the section at the design speed of the section at for c this the low one is for 50 mile per hour speed the other is 60 mile per hour and the other is for 70 mile bear out from this we will take after that an another lecture we see from this figure we can find the level of surface of the way of the highway the level of surface at what level of surface the this section or the section we study it uh, operate okay this is the uh, uh, the figure from the highway capacity manual okay and we see this relation and this is a okay this is the relations for ideal flow rate for 15 minutes and this is the average speed of ideal travel stream i this is mean in mile per hour and this, this is for 
uh, from the highway capacity manual okay you see this now this is the marriage area in rural interstate okay uh, traffic so this is the relation between speed and flow and this at this curve now we see that the curve where is the flow the speed become decrease Fl flow is increase the speed decrease and at a point at the maximum capacity the at the capacity the flow the speed is draw this is and then the relation it will be the speed will be zero will be at the maximum capacity at the maximum capacity at the maximum flow the speed become zero okay this is from this this is the three relations this is the relation between speed and density and this is the relation between flow and speed now this is the three relation speed flow density relationship according to the green show so we can find so the three relations between this is between speed and density the fairest then the relation between flow and speeds and this is the another relation is the relation between flow and density we see that is this is parabola and there is a relation between it where we there is a relation between end from dashed line okay from dashed line we see that the u at u f there is a maximum flow there is a maximum flow and at kj the flow the speed equal zero okay there is a relation between the two three sorry three fundamental uh, flow parameters which are u q and k there is a relations between it according to a green shell linear model okay this is the green shells model as we say it is a linear only when green shell model holds u capacity equal u at u capacity we have u f over 2 we have u f and at k capacity we have k j over 2 this is mean at speed at capacity equal u f may free u f mean the free speed over 2 so u at capacity equal u f over 2 and k at capacity equal kj over 2 a jump density over 2 okay and q capacity equal q capacity according to the fundamental relationship k to u now at k at q capacity k capacity by u capacity now if i put or substitute this relation i can find that at the q capacity we can find equal kj uf over 4 okay from these relations from these relation u equal uf over 2 and k capacity equal kj over 2 so q capacity equal kj uf over 4 okay you now now this understand these relations and we can derive it, derive these relations. Uh, we can derive it. Anyone? This is a homework for you to derive this formula, this formula according to 
these relations. And we will, I'll give you in another lecture observations between K and U, and we can find the relations. The observation, field observation, I will give you, and to find the relations by numbering, okay? Understand? So, this is example, or solve example. Der derive speed, flow, and density, derive the speed, flow, and density, flow curves from a linear speed density curve. If you have two points of intersect, are the y and x intersect. y intersect is 65.0 kilometer per hour. Called free flow speed. This is 65 kilometer per hour, which is free flow speed. And x intercept is 110 vehicle kilometer per lane, called at the jam density. This is mean. Y mean UF. And X mean KJ. So, according to the fundamental relationships, Q equal U by K. And U equal Q over K. So, the U, as we take before, UF minus KJ, K over KJ by UF. So, U equal, what equal? U equal K over Q over K. Now, UF equal, as I say, 6, 5. So, this is 6, 5. Multiply by 1 minus K over 1, which is K over KJ. KJ, it is X, which is intercept at the jump density, which means 110. So, the, from this relation, the, from this, I can find the relation Q plus 650K minus 0.59009K squared, which is, is the flow density. Okay? This is relation. So, substitute K equal Q over K. So, U equal 65 by 1 minus 110K. So, this is, we can find the relation Q 110U minus 1.6923U, which means a flow speed relationships. Is, so, the flow equal Q 1100110U minus 1.6923U, which means flow speed relationship. While before this is the according to this a green shell model. As we show, these curves are parabola. And can we finish our lecture now, but I'll return to the first like at the first there we have the objective as to understand. Now we understand from this lecture the fundamental relationships among traffic flow pattern. As we know, this is traffic flow pattern. We have a fundamental parameters. What are they? Please say what are the fundamental parameter? You say that are speed, flow, and density. Okay? And we now we understand the fundamental relationships according to Green Shell model, which means U equal Q 
Q phi k. U k, as we said then. And we can, from this lecture, estimate traffic parameters. We can start using the fundamental relationships. If we have the observed traffic flow and observed speeds and observed density at a, any type of road, we can find according to this relations. We can find Y relation, which means maybe U and X, which means density. U equal density. We have observed the speeds and observed the density at the any road, so we can find the relations between these speed and density by least square estimation. We will take a homework. I will give you a homework to for to find these relation according to this. Or maybe we will go out at a street near the university and we can measure the speed and density either by hand or by uh, video and we come to the laboratory and to take all these observation to find the relation according to this formula q equal k by u and we know that this relation will be like this according to this relation and we shall draw the relation between average speed and density we have we observe it and we will i we will take observation like this we take maybe uh, we take 20 30 observation 40 observation and we plot it on the laboratory to see the relation between speed and density it will be like this it will be like this and from this model we can by least square estimation find the model for this section of the roads okay and we will take this relation between the flow and density okay according to this formula q equal u f k minus u f over k j by k square this relation we can find it by the least square estimations by the least square est estimation okay and we will find a formula for this okay like this is the flow density and this is the relation between flow and density and this is the relation between speed and the flow as we see that the relation between speed and the flow is parabola and the relation between flow speed and density is linear okay like now the, this is the relation between speed and the flow which is mean like a parabola at the maximum flow at the q max the speed will be drop as we said before this is and we can find this according to the capacity highway capacity manual we have these sections okay and this is from this we can find this relation occur for each speed for each speed we will do all these in the lab when we take observations and we see what is the observed traffic and the normality of this traffic then thank you for your listening if there is any questions i can answer. Okay? Thank you.